It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. So recently a TikToker has stated that all video games should have an easy mode. And so without further hesitation, let us respond to the video. All video games need easy modes! I'm gonna explain. But first, if you're one of those, you're not a real gamer if you play games on easy mode people, you can scoot right along there, buster! Cause listen, I love video games. I'm also very bad at video games. But I am a big kid with a big kid job and responsibilities like car payments, and I don't have time to be good at video games. Side note, we are not hating on people that make video games a priority. If being good at video games is one of your priorities, what an excellent way to spend your downtime. I am flabbergasted by your skill. I honestly don't understand this type of argument that somehow if you're busy in life, you cannot be good at video games because there are plenty of examples of people who work from nine to five jobs all the time, have to, of course, do some sort of adult responsibilities like taking care of the kids, taking care of their wife, and so on. Yet at the same time, they find time to play video games on their free time. And so yes, people can actually struggle real life and also play video games at the same time. It's true that there are also some people who have plenty and plenty of free time to play whatever game to be good at it, at the same time, you have entire competitions of players who are probably, of course, busy in their real life too, yet they compete against other players because they're actually skilled at beating video games. And so this idea that she cannot be good at video games because, of course, like, real life doesn't make much sense to me. It's just not one of my priorities. I have many skills in this life, but beating Hollow Knight mini-bosses is not one of them. I don't want a challenge. Life is hard enough. I want a cool, interactive story. And what happens is I get frustrated on a fight I can't beat, and I end up giving up, and I lose out on so much cool story. This right here is literally the living definition of entitlement. So, she is not good at video games, she wants to play some sort of interactive story, and of course she is not good at boss levels, and because she is not good at video games, not good at boss levels, want interesting stories, therefore every single last video game should in fact have some sort of easy mode. There are plenty and plenty of interactive games that someone can actually play if you want to actually just do that kind of stuff. For example, one of the biggest games that I know of so far is like the games from Quantum Dream. So if you got like a PlayStation or whatever, you can play all the titles of Quantum Dreams and of course enjoy the games that way. Not to mention of course that um, many games nowadays, they do in fact come with an easy mode. Most games nowadays that are produced are marketed towards like as many people as possible. That means most games nowadays have an easy mode as well as a hard difficulty. That being said, I do in fact believe if a developer chose to of course make a game as hard as possible and require players to you know use their skills to defeat hard bosses and hard tasks, I of course don't think that a person needs to cater towards somebody just because they're not good at the game. One of the things that I like video games the most is the fact that there's actually is a challenge to actually reward yourself. In the past, like in the Nintendo days or whatever, the games were actually set on players being as good at the game as possible, and sometimes they were like really hard. They call it like Nintendo hard for a reason, because there was like no such thing as easy, medium, or hard difficulty, because the hard difficulty was actually the main difficulty. And so, video games are syndicated towards the idea of using skills to advance forth. If you want to have an interactive movie, then why would we want to play video games to begin with? Now getting back to the idea of accessibility, there are plenty of players who are also disabled, some who are blind, some who actually lost limbs, yet they actually managed to be really hard game. So, yes, even hard games could be accessible to those with disability. So, of course, not every single game is going to be catered to the mass market. Sometimes the best way to sell your game is actually cater to the players 
and not to mass market. Video game creators, this is my plea to you. Slash slash, on with the story. Easy modes, please. My answer to this is actually in the middle. I, of course, think that companies have a right to make as many game modes as possible. That includes the easy mode, the medium mode, as well as the hard difficulties and so on. At the same time, I do in fact believe that companies, for example, like From Software, who developed the Dark Souls games, shouldn't be pressured by people like her if they want to have an easier difficulty level. If they want to have a game that's actually challenging and don't actually, you know, cater towards certain markets, they also should have a right to produce whatever game they want. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.